This hair look doesn't require too many items, so that is one good thing about it. And you can pretty much do this anywhere you are on the go. It's great for festivals, summer, spring, casual days, dressed up days. You could even wear this to a wedding. It's the cutest thing and it's the easiest thing, so let's get cracking into it. For a little bit of hair history, this morning I washed my hair in the shower and I used the Alberto Balsam Honey and Sweet Almond Shampoo and Conditioner. Now you know I love honey, you know I love almond. Mix together honey and almond and you get this and it smells so good. I might need to have a little snifferoo right now. Since I got out of the shower, I did my makeup and then I just let my hair naturally air dry. I just keep on going like this because apparently this is me in hair tutorial mode. Okay, let's get started into the actual hairstyle. First thing I'm gonna do, I need to add some texture to my hair. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the VO5 Instant Oomph Powder and I've used this in videos before. It's like an, well, it is an instant oomph. And as you can see, I got a little instant oomph going on right there. So just take a little bit of this powder. It's really cool how this works actually. And I'm just gonna work this into the roots, especially focusing on the crown. I have really fine hair and it's hard to sort of keep it in place, especially with updos. So this is not just for volume. It's also great for adding a little bit of texture just so everything is going to be in place a little bit easier. Okay, after you've got some oomph up in that hair, as you can, whoa, I got quite a little bit there. So once you've got that volume, I'm just gonna brush my hair just with my hands as if I was going to put it into a ponytail, just so it's sitting correctly when I'm about to put my headband on. And then just take the headband and plop it on your head. We do want a little bit of volume here, but if you've got big pieces like this, just pull on your hair and just kind of pull those pieces down and just kind of fiddle around with it until you have it exactly how you want it. Don't worry too much at this stage how messy or weird it looks because once we do the next step, it's all gonna blend in together and you can go back and pin any parts. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of hairspray. This is the Tresemme Touchable Feel Hairspray and this is really nice because it's a very dry hairspray. So it's not sticky and it's not gonna make everything crunchy and crusty, but it'll just help it all hold in a little bit better. So I'm actually just gonna spray the ends where I'm gonna be rolling it up and then a little bit at the top. Now depending on how you want this to look in the front, you can leave some parts out, but what I'm gonna do is actually roll these pieces in. Anything that's kind of in front of my ears, I'm just gonna take like this, and I'm actually just going to pull it back and tuck it into the back of the headband, trying to cover up some of the headband, and then just push it all the way through. Like that. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Some pieces of my bangs probably won't tuck in, but we can deal with those later. And then tuck it into the headband. So now you've got these pieces here dangling around, and what we're going to do, I'm gonna turn around and show you in a second, but just take your hair and kind of roll it back like this, and then same thing, just tuck it all into the headband, and then that's it. So I'm gonna turn around and show you how I do that. So now all you have to do is take your hair and pull it back as if you're going to have a low ponytail. And then I like to just do a quick little twist of the hair, especially the ends, and then just start rolling it up towards the headband, tucking it in as you go. So that's just the initial tuck. You can see that there's some loose parts here. So just keep on tucking them into the headband because you want this hairstyle to feel secure. So I just did a little bit more fiddling around back here and just really tucked it in. It did take me quite a few tries to get all those hairs in, but eventually once you tuck them in, it's all good. Of course, you can just add a little pin, stick it in there to any areas that are being particularly difficult. So depending on what sort of look you're going for, you might wanna have some more pieces down like this if you're having it more casual, or if you were doing something a little more formal, you could just pin your bang back like this. So that is the finished look. I think it is so cute. It feels really secure. It's just something a little bit different and it looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. If you decide to give this style a go, I'd love to see a picture of it because I like to creep on your hairstyles. You can tweet me at Essie Button or show me on Instagram at Essie Button. I'd love to look at them. If you found this tutorial useful, you can of course give it a nice big thumbs up. That's always nice. I appreciate that. And I think now it's time for me to wrap it up. Wrapping it up, wrapping it up like I wrapped up my hair into the headband. But boom boom, okay? And I'm really gonna wrap it up now, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! This is like, yeah. what's in your actual carry-on yeah. bag, like what you take on the plane. And we did fly over here, it was like a nine and a half hour flight. So this is actually, actually what we brought.